Hey guys, so has anybody seen Secret Soto's um, YouTube videos where she's painting feathers? If you haven't, I'll link um, her, um, at least the first video to the description below. I'll try to see if there's a playlist for all of them or I'll create one. Um, but what I did in watching her videos gave me an idea. So we're here on Monday with a Monday on Deco Arts and we're going to paint a feather. I have this feather here that was in my stash of stuff that I gessoed and I've got some deco art media fluid acrylics. I've got phthalo turquoise, titan buff, titanium white, cobalt teal, ultramarine blue, primary cyan, I've got pyrrole red, cadmium orange, primary yellow, Hansa Yellow Medium, Cobalt Turquoise, Payne's Gray, although I don't know that we need it, and Sap Green. I'm not sure I'm going to use all these colors, but those are the ones I pulled out. All right. We're going to get out a little, a little plate. We're going to do a little seascape on the feather. What do you think? I think it'll be interesting. Let's do that. I already gessoed my feather front and back, um, and it, you know, made it a little bit smaller and squishier and you know, oh, that's okay, and the, it's got the brakes in it, but I think it's going to be interesting. All right, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. There we go, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to hold it down like this while I'm painting, which means I think that what I should do first is put a little bit of all of my paint colors on my, on my plate. so that I have this all ready to go. I don't think it's going to take much paint. It's not that big a feather. <laughs> I would be really surprised if it took very much paint. So I'm just going to put a little drop of each one of these colors. And whatever I don't use, I'll put in my Year of My Life journal or rub it on my drop paper which I can later use for collage, something like that. Okay, that had separated, so let's give that a shake. And let's grab a paper towel. And let's... So I'm gonna just absorb that extra liquid that came out. Okay, there we go, that's better. So I was thinking we might do a sunset um, seascape on the feather, which is why I have the yellows and oranges out. Come on. This one doesn't want to come out. Let's see. That helped. Yeah. And I told this is totally inspired by Secrets Channel. I do recommend you go over and, and give her a watch. She has some interesting uh, ideas about things, and I, I love her way that she kind of goes about stuff. I'm going to put some Payne's Gray on here. I don't know that I need it, but you never know. I might decide to put a bird on there. All right, so we've got our palette, which I'm going to push this way. I've got three brushes. I've got a Filbert a flat, and then I've got this one, I don't know what this is called. No idea, but it's shaped like this. Oops, where are you? There you are. I like it because it's got this little point on it, so. We're going to start with the filbert, and I'm going to flatten my feather. Yeah, and make sure I'm in, <laughs> make sure I'm in frame. And we're going to start with the um, turquoise. Okay. And I'm going to put in my ocean where I think I want it to be. I'm going to add some of the cobalt teal. I'm going to add some 
this really dark turquoise. I'm going to grab a little bit of white. I'm going to put some white in there. I'm going to blend them all right on the feather. I'm going to go back to the dark turquoise and I'm going to add little touches of it. I'm going to actually switch brushes. Let's switch brushes. Let's switch to that one with the pointy end. Alright. I'm going to put some little touches of dark. Ocean's not one flat color. There's dark spots and light spots in it. I'm going to put a little bit of oceanness. Oceanness. That's the new term. Oceanness over here. We need some oceanness. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, let's rinse off our brush. I need a rag. Every time I've sat down to paint today, I haven't had a rag. What's with that? All right, I don't care if we get paint on the back. I only gessoed it for stability of the feather, hairs, bristles, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what you call them. So I'm rinsing my brush off now. <clears throat> holding my feather down some more. And this time we're going to do the sky and I think, no, I'm going to have to hold it this way. Normally I would turn it around but I need to hold it down and I'm right handed so <clears throat> I'm going to start with um, this um, cyan color. Occasionally drop in some white. A little bit of the darker blue. The sky would be a little darker the further away it was from the earth or the ocean. And we want this to be. Um, sort of realistic. Let me go back to our angled brush and the dark turquoise color and I want to just clean up this line here where the ocean meets the sky, which would normally be a pretty flat line. Okay, let's give that a dry, shall we? But that's already looking interesting, isn't it? 
Now I don't know that you want to dry it too much or get it too hot because I don't know what the heat will do to the bristle, the hairs and the feather. I just want to dry it enough that I can add other colors to this without making green or mud. It's pretty dry. I think it's dry enough. So let's put it back on our table and squish it flat. All right. And let's keep going. I'm going to go back to our filbert brush. I'm going to try to rinse it pretty well. I want to get all the blue off. And I'm going to go into one of our yellows. And I'm going to put in a sun, hopefully. Just a half moon shape. Now whatever is above the water would be reflected in the water, so let's put a little bit of a distorted reflection of that shape in the water. It's not going to clean the brush off, I'm going to grab some orange. I'm just going to use some water on the brush to aid me in some blending a little bit. I'm going to grab a baby wipe. Okay. So I think that's a little bit too much orange. And I think the baby might white might blend a little bit better. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's grab some red. We just want a hint of it in the water. See, I'm going to go back to my angled brush. I'm going to add some turquoise back in over the paint we just put on here for the reflection. feel like I can stop holding it down so much, so I'm going to do that. Grab some white. And it's acrylic paint, so this DecoArt Media um, fluid, it's fluid acrylic, so you can just keep layering your colors on right over the top of each other until you get the look that you want and interesting marks. It's just a little more challenging because we're working on a feather. We're not working on something that's flat.
I'm going to see if I can mix up a little bit of purple. I'm going to take some of one of my blues and some of the red that's on here. And then I'm going to add it into the white and see what happens. It's a little bit gray for my taste. So let's and it's probably just the shades of colors that I have here. It's actually probably the red um, that's making it look kind of gray. That's all right. We'll work with it. We'll just keep mixing. I'm going to add my, you just saw me add the Titan Buff in. I'm, I actually know, I'm kind of liking that color. So it um, looks like this. It's kind of a grayish purple, but I'm kind of liking that. So we're going to go with it. I'm going to add some of that in here. Just a little bit. Need some more white. The sky got a little dark. I have this tendency to do dark stormy skies. Have I told you guys I am? <laughs> I don't know why. I just think I think I like them because there's just so many colors in a dark stormy sky that are it's more interesting than a bright sunny sky. I don't know. That's what I try to tell myself anyway. Okay, let's go to the sun and let's put some more yellow back. So long kind of streaks of white can hint at clouds or waves in the ocean. You're just being suggestive. You're not trying to be literal here. We don't have enough space to, for one thing to be literal, not to mention the fact that I don't really paint that way to begin with. Oh, I like that. All right, let's... We need a small detail brush. Um, 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 um. Let's use. Hmm, let's use this one. This is a really teeny, small. I don't even know what size. It's just a little. Um, and we're going to use that. I'm going to. Um, I want to put some birds in the sky. Let's do that.
That's nice. Let's go in with the white, the titanium white. And we're going to see if we can put in some white caps. Ones that aren't that messy, holy moly. I think my brush was a little bit too wet. So that's all right. We're going to go in with it. We have the dark. Oops. Let's try to brush off really well. So we'll go in and we'll fix it. Okay. I'm going to go in again with my white. Draw my brush off better this time. find the light spots and the color we put down here for the ocean and I'm gonna just kind of tap in some white because we're working on a feather you don't want it to be too watery because what I'm noticing is the little hairs in the feather are wick they wick the water the paint right up like it would if it was watercolor Sticking with my detail brush, I'm going to go into my other yellow color. Again, we're just we're putting in details, little small details. This is what's going to really make this painting pop on this feather. I have some sap green here. And I'm going to See if I could put some grass in. Which is challenging over all the breaks in the feather, I gotta tell ya. I'm gonna add some yellow to the sap green, lighten it up just a bit. Add just some of the, I think, straight yellow. Let's do it on the other side. and then the lighter color. And then some of the yellow. I really like it. Holy cow. Uh, secret, this is all your fault. <laughs> wow. 
I think I want to put a little boat. Let's put a little boat. We've got this Payne's gray on here. Oh, brush is too wet again. There, again, there would be a reflection in the water. So pull some of that paint down. Okay, and then I'm going to use um, one of my warmer blues. Right into the wet paints gray. to give it the hint of where the you know sun is landing on the boat. And you've got all these blues, which generally speaking, blue is a cool color, but when you have these tealy, yellowy blues next to these cool, these other blue blues or purpley blues, that makes the tealy blue a warm blue. Well, that's really nice. There you go. <sighs> Monday with deco art. Paint a feather. Thanks, Secret. I hope you guys all enjoyed that, and I hope you give it a try. It was a lot of fun. The hardest part, honestly, was gessoing the feather. Um, give it a try and see what you think. Um, all of my contact information is in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Uh, my uh, post office box is also down there if you'd like to um, send me happy mail or you have a product uh, or a company with a product you'd like me to try and review. Um, my contact information and links to my Facebook group, my Amazon store, the classes I teach, everything is in the description below. Give it a good read if you will. Um, if you have any comments, you can leave them right on the video. I do reply to all my comments uh, eventually, but I usually do them pretty quickly. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget to, the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself, like paint a feather, because you deserve it. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.